anyway, we're taking up S. That was S11. I thought we were taking up this morning. And um, we're actually taking up S45, the um, probation bill. So Ren is here with the latest version. Um, I am. Good morning, committee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So um, <clears throat> I'm here with draft 4.1 um, of S45. And for the record, it's Bryn Hare from Legislative Council. Hmm. And I will share my screen with you. Okay. Can everybody see that at the top yep. of the page? It should say yep. draft 4.1. Okay, great. <clears throat> so there are just a few changes made to this draft, so we should be able to get through them pretty quickly. Um, the first one is in section one, the purpose of probation. We took out the word thereby uh, after much discussion. <laughs> and then I'll jump down to section two. This is the directive to the sentencing court um, once the commissioner files a motion. And you can see that the, the change here was made based on the um, suggestion of Judge Grierson that there be a timeline imposed for, for when the prosecutor has to file um, mm -hmm. that motion to yep. continue probation. So we've made it within 21 days hmm. of the prosecutor's office receiving the notice of the commissioner's motion to discharge. Is there any comment on that change? Everybody okay with that, including uh, Matt Valerio, James Pepper, Judge Grierson, anybody else who's here? I'm fine with it. Go ahead. Yeah, I think... I think it's okay. Okay. So I'll keep going. Yep, Senator? please. Okay. Yep. So okay. scroll down to the two criteria. Um, and we've and we've made a change here so that now um, this language reads that if either the court has to either make a finding by preponderance of the evidence that termination will pose that risk of danger, or the court has to make a finding by clear and convincing evidence that the probationer isn't substantially in compliance with those conditions that are related to rehabilitation or victim safety. So we've got two different standards of proof here <clears throat> for due the two different criteria. Good. Either yeah. one of these things along with a motion to um, continue the probation would um, result in a denial of the commissioner's motion to discharge. Okay, everybody, uh, any problems with that from anyone? Okay. okay. <laughs> And then there's just one other thing, which is um, all the way down here in section, oopsie, in section three, um, <clears throat> these are the criteria of the, the, the department has to find, and we just replaced the word program with services there at the request of the That, that was a request to the Department of Corrections, am I correct? Correct. Any comment may on I, that? May I yeah, ask a question sure. about that? Yep. So, they have to have completed any rehabilitative or risk reduction services. Oh, the duration of which are set and knowledgeable at the outset. Okay, so it isn't just um, ongoing therapy. No, if they say, you know, after they, after they do the crash program that you need to participate in something else, you may have difficulty getting your license back, but you as I understand this, you would then get off probation. But so it says the duration of which are set and knowable at the outset. I don't think that the IOP programs have a set time. I think that the, the duration is not necessarily known. It depends on What's the, an IOP? Um, intensive outpatient service program. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you're saying that they have to have completed that but my understanding about them because we had them here at the retreat and then they canceled them AHS thought it best not to have it available here anymore so we don't have any of those services anymore um but the IOPs as I understand it are um depend they aren't set for a certain number of weeks is my understanding and they wouldn't be eligible then they wouldn't come under that. I just wondered because I think Dale 
Is that the idea, Dale? I hope you, under, service. you understand the question, Dale? The way that I would interpret that and apply it is that if someone is engaged in an IOP or mental health services or um, anything of that nature, that, that as long as they're in compliance, um, we would submit the discharge. I would only okay. use the current language as someone that's in someone, something that has set time frames. Okay. Regulations like crash and BIP are probably the, the okay, two so that come to mind. The other, the others that are kind of don't have a set duration and stuff, they would be just if they're in um, substantial compliance. Correct. Okay, great. Thanks. I, I guess I, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dale, I would look at this as a person who's completed the set batter intervention program. And if they decide, if the decision was to go to alcohol rehabilitation services that weren't known at the start during, you know, during the batter intervention, as long as they completed the batter intervention program, they would be eligible for discharge and not have to wait until they've completed all the alcohol. Th that would be my maybe a lifetime. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it probably would be a lifetime. Yeah. That would be, is that what we're doing here? In your That's mind? the way I would view it, correct. Right. Okay. Um, anybody mm -hmm. with any other comments or questions about that section? Thank you. And um, that's, that's it for the changes to this draft. Right. And that's 4.5? 4 4.1. Oh, it's 45, 4.1. Yep. Okay. Um, and I would entertain a motion to report favorably as amended draft 4.1. Or no, to, to amend the bill as seen in draft 4.1. I make a motion. Nicola, yeah. I make a motion to amend the bill as to amend the as changed, to vote to positively to um, vote the bill as amended Thank in draft 4.1. 4.1. Senator Ninka has moved that we report favorably, uh, that we amend the bill as seen yeah. in draft 4.1. Is there any further discussion from either anyone in the audience or um, <coughs> anyone on the committee? Hearing none, Peggy, would you please call the roll? Senator Benning. Yes. Senator Nika. Yes. Senator White. Yes. Senator Baruth. Yes. Senator Sears. Yes. I assume that there's a motion to report draft, to report S45 as amended in draft 4.1. Senator I'll Baruth has so moved okay. and Senator White has seconded. Is there any further discussion from anybody in the audience or anyone on the Hearing none, Peggy, would you please call the roll? Senator Benning. Yes. Senator Nicka. Yes. Senator White. Yes. Senator <clears throat> Baruth. Yes. Senator Sears. Yes. Five zero zero, and I'd like to report the bill, um, but I, I want to commend the committee for the fine work on this bill and all of the <clears throat> various players from uh, Judge Corsons, I mean, Judge Corsons. There is a Judge Corsons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Judge, Judge Gerson, uh, the Defender General's Office, the Department of Correction, uh, and the state's mm -hmm. attorneys, and the Attorney General and the Center for Crime Victim Services, and other groups who have worked on this bill. Thank you very much. Peggy, um, is there a way, would you check with John um, Bloomer, a way to send? this electronically to all members of the Senate as part of the report on S45. Normally we would put this on their desks. Yep, what, what are you referring to? What is it? I'm referring to uh, the Pew study, December, 2020, states can shorten probation and protect public safety. Okay. We were, you... we, we've all got it. Okay. Um, Bryn, can someone send you, it to me? Did I think you already have it, but it, it may have been posted on our committee page. Okay. I'm just wondering how to get this to every other senator yep. so that during the report on the bill, I can reference this. 
Yep. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. No problem. Yeah, normally and, I would put this on everybody's desk. Yep. So obviously Bryn, I can't do that during a pandemic. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Bryn, will you send me the, the, after it goes through editing? It's been edited and I just saved it without the highlighting. So if you just use that document number, you can send it. Okay. You awesome. Pull it up Thank and you. send it. Great. And can we all get it too when you get a chance, Peggy, please? Uh, yep. Sounds good. And um, Senator Nick, uh, you, Senator yeah. Kitchell called me this morning. I don't know if you heard the conversation while you were logging in. Um, no, I was on another. Regarding show. the Budget Adjustment Act, she would like to, on the floor today, say that we concur. There were two changes that impact the judiciary or the Judiciary Committee. One was on the, oh, they're both on, one was on the use of force training and it makes clear in their amendment, which is how it works anyways, that any money left over from July, uh, June 30th, 2021, would be carried over to the FY22 budget. Um, Senator Ruth, did I miss? Uh, well, the only thing I'd add is that it also says that any training um, would have to be done according to what is in law July 20, July 2021. So they're clearly still seeking to move the date out um, and they, they want the money not to be an argument to train under the current law. That's the way I would put it. And the second is on the body cameras, they want to report back to the various committees. I mean, anybody could just ask, well, how's it going? I thought it was a bit picky, but uh, I told Jane I, that I was okay with it. There's, a, okay. there's an email uh, that you would have. If you could just let Jane know you're okay with it or if you oppose it. I, when she talked to me this morning, she asked me to bring it up to both you and Senator Okay, thanks. Okay. She wants to get up on the floor and get rid of it. Also got the labor thing that sent back to his committee on the on the um, 1099 mess up. Oh, okay. They put that in there. They put that in there? Yeah. Okay. All right. And Bryn, you will get me a, a report for the yep. floor so we can go over the how the bill operates. I sure will. Thank everybody very much. This is a key part of justice reinvestment too. Um, and it should have, it should um, have an impact on the number of people that remain on probation. It should, I think maybe even more importantly, it'll bring some geographic um, equity to around the state now. Cases are and not only that, it's good policy. And not only that, it's good policy. Thank you, Senator.